Hey everyone, Ken Surf's here and we're in the shaved in and it's time for another shave. You know what, my uh, videos have been kind of one a week and that's because I haven't had a lot of new items to try. Well, that's about to change drastically because today we are trying two new items from Yaki Brush or Yaki Shaving. Uh, the new Final Cut Brass Razor, Adjustable Razor, and one of their uh, uh, brushes, synthetic brushes. Coming up from uh, Sir Henry's, uh, I've got a new aftershave and soap to be trying, Casino Royale. I mean, looking forward to doing that. Might have to be a Bond-themed sh shave. Also, just released from, uh, re-released from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, Tokyo Rose. So that's going to be coming up. So I'm giving you a little bit of a preview of what's coming. Now let's take a look at what we're going to be doing in today's show. All right. So from Yaki in a nice gift box comes one of their latest adjustable razors. This is the final cut. Got nice packaging. Let's take a look at this. So this is solid brass. It's uh, 104 grams. It's 77 millimeter handle for a total length of 88 millimeters. And it's pretty close to the Mercure 34G, which is exactly the same as the Mercure 34C. So it doesn't have a super long handle, but it has a manageable handle. They have a base that uh, you can get as an option that you can actually have this on. Now, it's kind of a different configuration. Let me show you how this works. That releases the head. And for cleaning, you can actually take off the handle. So there's not a lot that can go wrong with that. You, uh, what I do is I snug that, or I loosen that just up slightly, and then you can, oops, hang on. That wasn't wise, didn't have it set. Loosen it up a little, and you can do your adjustments from one to six. I kind of cheated a little bit. I was watching some of the guys on YouTube, and they started out with three, so I will start out with three. Lock that in place, and I'm gonna take the uh, head off, and put in a familiar blade with me, Wilkinson Sword Gillette from India. We are going to try this out. So let's load this up. Now, these are, it's a limited run. It's a limited run, 160 pieces. I have, <laughs> there's the number right there. I'm gonna have to get my magnifying glass. Hang on, I'll tell you what number I Man. 105. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's the number of this razor. So 105 is not going to be available, gentlemen. But uh, they have had, uh, they, they do have 160 pieces. So if you're into LE razors, there we go. Lock it in. Now let's see the alignment. Man, three puts a pretty big gap in it. I'm gonna back that off a little. Turn that. I'm gonna turn this down to number two. Tighten it up, tighten it up. Actually, yeah, I don't need to tighten it up. You can just adjust this on the fly. So I'm set at number two. Now, one of the gentlemen from South Africa, I believe it was, uh, did a review on this razor. And what he did was kind of cool. He added black paint into the recessed number spot. So you can really see the numbers very easily. I think he put a red dot here. That's something they probably should do at the factory. But, you know, they left it to you if you wanted to do that. I can see these numbers no problem, but I thought it was pretty cool what he did. So that is the razor we'll be using today. Also, let me brush. 
a, actually, look, they give you a nice cleaning cloth too now. Don't, not for your brush really, but uh, I guess you could polish your handle if you wanted. This is from Yaki. And this has got some nice gold leaf and silver in it. Looks pretty good. It's yeah. lunchtime and my aunt and uh, my sister are over here visiting. So I just said, yeah, I'm in the studio. I'll be out in a few. All right, so that is the synthetic from Yaki. Kind of cool, silver and gold. And to go with that theme, I am gonna be trying, I've tried it before. Taylor of Old Bond Street Platinum Collection. I don't know if they still make this, but uh, man, I like it, so I'm going to be trying it today. All right, so let's get started. Let's put the uh, synthetic into the crystal skull, let it soak a little bit. Let me wet my face. And I need a shave, you can tell. You can tell. Yeah, like I said, I haven't had very many new products to try lately, so, you know, I don't want to just, you know, rehash old videos, but uh, it's really nice when new stuff arrives, because then I can try it for the first time. I'm trying this razor for the first time. All right, and the brush. You can't really go wrong with a brush. Now, oh, it's uh, stiffened up a little bit. It used to be really soft. I used to have to face lather. Let's see if I can just get a little on the brush. See if I can face lather. Typical synthetic, very nice. Very nice. And I found out that, uh, for those of you who didn't know, there's going to be a shave meet coming up at Absolutely Fabulous in Huntington Beach uh, on August the 6th. And I heard that uh, Matt from Razor Emporium will be there. Uh, Douglas Smythe will be there. And uh, I'm going to be there. And a lot of other uh, YouTubers from the SoCal are going to be there. So it's going to be kind of nice. It's going to be nice to uh, see you guys again. All right. Well, it's not a review of the soap, but you know, you can't go wrong with Taylor of Old Bonds. All right. I like the knurling here. It gives me a pinch point to hang on to. And we're on setting two. Let's see how she does. Nice. Nice. The gent who started on three, man, he probably has a coarser beard than I do. I don't have the thickest of beards. And the price point for this razor is about a hundred bucks. Now, you know, there's an old saying, you only get what you pay for. Kind of on the expensive side, but it might be a one-stop fits all for you. So you might not have to buy another razor. Again, you don't have to be crazy like I am because I think my 34G is around 40 to 50 bucks. So I use this one all the time, but you can't have just one. At least I can't for what I do. I was reading the review on AliExpress and there's one review, one guy says, I ordered the razor, but it didn't come in a gift box. And he was kind of pissed about the gift box and I kind of don't blame him, but this one came in a gift box. So, you know, I heard they have good customer service. Ask for your gift box.
couple of the YouTubers I was watching I hadn't subscribed to yet. They were relatively new, like 85 subscribers. So I, I subscribed and uh, I liked their videos and it's good to see you guys taking your passion of wet shaving and putting them into videos on YouTube. So we can all enjoy them. All right. By the way, that razor chopped it all down. It felt good in the hand. It chopped it all down and I'm using this for the first time. So I haven't learned any tricks of the trade yet or any settings that are better than the other. I am still learning. If you guys have this razor, Maybe you can comment and let the, let the viewers know in the comment section of this video some of the tricks you found. The platinum collection smells pretty good. I kind of do like that, that handle. All right, here we go. Little feedback, but not much. First pass took it almost all off. Yeah, like I said, I really enjoy trying out new products. Can't wait to try out Tokyo Rose and Casino Royale. Very easy to handle. Back in the 80s for you old folks like me, there was a little show on uh, CBS called Dallas. And in 1980, they had the season cliffhanger, Who Shot JR? Well, since Dallas and J.R. Ewing were so popular all over the world, they released a beer. It was J.R. Ewing's Private Reserve. It was from the same folks who brought you Billy beer when uh, Jimmy Carter was president. And his brother Billy was like to like have a few. So they had Billy beer and then they had J.R. beer. And I remember the slogan. If you have to ask how much this beer costs, you probably can't afford it. <laughs> and it's almost the same with wet shaving because some of these doggone things are expensive, man. But it, it, it is what you want. You know, do you want one to last you forever? Are you a collector or a hobbyist like me? It is nice to try them out. I always thought that was a funny slogan. Because, man, the Rockwell razors are like a buck and a half. And, uh, you know, some of the other razors are, you know, so you kind of you kind of get what you pay for. If they throw a lot of money into the uh, machining and quality control. Now, if they're charging that much money for like a junker, you know, stay away. But you can tell there's definitely a little more effort put into this. So... Uh, the results are what you see. And if I would have cut myself, you would have seen it. I would have left it in this video. I'm not going to preempt or edit. You're going to see what it did for me the first time on setting number two. And again, maybe setting three, it looked, the gap looked pretty, you see, look, setting two looks a little mellower. Setting three, man. <laughs> that was going to be a, a Mula R41 setting, in my opinion. All right. Finally, Platinum. Oh, it's a spray. And it says it's a cologne, but it can be used as an aftershave or cologne. So let's see. And I drop it. Whew, there's the burn. Oh, man. Whew. Smells pretty good. Kind of like your higher end stuff. Very good. All right. Well, there you go. The final cut. And they have a couple of different handle designs. This one is uh, the one that they show on their website, but they have a couple of like different scrolling designs too. So uh, it all depends on your preference, but it seems to be quality piece to me. They're not paying me. I'm not part of Yaki. I'm just trying it for the first time. 
I don't know if it's worth a hundred bucks. You guys can decide that, but uh, it, it sure sure did good on my first shave. And if I were gonna have this as my only razor, it would probably last for quite a long time. Very good. All right, guys, have a terrific night. Hope to see you all very soon. And I'm looking forward to trying out those new items in an upcoming video. Stay safe, everyone.